The Delta Force Hawk Ops Alpha is here, and I got access to it on Steam. And yes, if you are wondering, this game truly has the potential to be a Battlefield or a Call of Duty killer. And of course, this is just an Alpha, and the game does have its issues, but the question is, can all the Shadow Gaming tiers handle this new game, even the Discovery tier? Let's see how well this game performs. Now before I get into specific tiers, there are a couple of things you need to know. First, this is an invitational alpha. You have to get access to this either on Steam or through their website. I got access on Steam. This alpha is also a mouse and keyboard game only. Controller support will come at full launch. And lastly, this is still an alpha. Things should improve or change on release. Things like the server desync were pretty crazy, and frame drops in weird spots like the overview map on every tier should be things they address before launch. Now, let's start with the power upgrade, because all new games need crazy power, right? Now for those who don't know, the power upgrade is the most powerful tier they have in the gaming line of Shadow. They use a GPU that is similar to an RTX 3070 Ti. Also know that I always start my test in 4K, so the full game will have three modes, Tactical Turmoil, Havoc Warfare, and the Campaign. So basically, a Call of Duty DMZ and Tarkov hybrid mode, a breakthrough like Battlefield mode, and a remake of the Black Hawk Down campaign which is not in this alpha. So looking at the graphics, I can get this game to the highest settings at 4K. Ultimate settings. Yeah, this game is pretty optimized. But realistically, you're going to want to play on ultra settings for frames above 60 with high amounts of players. I didn't have any problems playing on the power upgrade, but the decoder at 4K will limit frames for you once again. I tried playing at 1440p and it helped a bit, but 1080p players will have absolutely no problems as usual. So until the Shadow app can decode 4K better, this is the frame rate you'll be getting at 4K unfortunately. 1440p might be the sweet spot though. I have full matches on my first games on Tactical Turmoil and Havoc Warfare on the Shadow Power Upgrade on my personal channel in the description below. And yes, they are nail biters, especially the Tactical Turmoil DMZ game. So, what about the original boost here? Well, I have good news and, well, not so bad news. To play this game well on the boost here, all you need to do is to reduce the settings to medium settings, then reduce the rendering to 50%. This seems to work better than scaling technologies like FSR. This game doesn't look that much worse at medium settings versus something higher, so to me, this is a huge win for boost tier players. I'm getting near to 60 FPS at 4K, and this is extremely rare for new games on the boost tier. Now be aware that frames were not consistent. The frame dips were real, and going down to 1080p didn't fix anything. This is a CPU issue with the amount of players on the field. But overall, my play sessions with the boost tier were great. So if the boost tier plays well, how about the discovery tier? Yeah guys, the discovery tier can get it done, and no, the frames aren't the best, but I had little issues playing. Granted, you must play at low settings at 1080p, but it's doable as you can see. So all the shadow tiers are a viable solution to play this game, which is a great sign for release. And hopefully, optimization will be even better. So if you're interested in getting any other gaming tiers of shadow, get signed up using the link in the description. If you like the overview of the Delta Force Hawk Ops Alpha test on all gaming tiers of Shadow, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.